This is Good Morning San Diego. What do we have cooking? Mm -hmm. uh, you're mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this hour. Am I? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know you're gonna ask me to do it again, so there you go. So I'm gonna be out with the motorcycles. <laughs> As uh, the, we're so, the Orange Coast Hogs of Dirt. They're celebrating the 12th annual Injured Warrior Appreciation Run with uh, with Chris Mosier. We're talking about that. We've got some friends on the patio to discuss the Orange Coast Hogs 12th Annual Injured Warrior Appreciation Run. It's all taking place tomorrow, so do not wander off. Now we will send it out to Paul on the patio. One Papa Pig with some hogs. Hey, Lauren, uh, I am joined by some very special guests. We're talking about the Orange Coast Hogs 12th Annual Injured Warrior Appreciation Run. The director of the Orange Coast Hog Chapter 5095, is that right? Yes. 5095 is Chris Mo Mosier. Mo, tell yes. us about this event. Absolutely. So each year uh, we raise money to, and uh, ride for just a fantastic organization called Warrior Foundation Freedom Station. And uh, we ride a lot of miles around the country all year long. These are the best miles that we ever do. And how do you raise money? How so, does the money raise? So we do it a couple different ways is we get corporate sponsorships for the ride and we, ride, we raise the bulk of the money there, but then also through donations and also registrations for riders and we have over about 200 riders that are going to be there on sunday and they've all donated to be able to ride uh, lastly how many of your riders are vets themselves probably about 50 percent are vets themselves so, uh, so, so very so active it's a cause near and dear to their hearts absolutely all right i'm gonna let you get on your bike and I'll, we'll get back to you in a little bit uh sandy let me slide between you and neil here sandy tell us about what, how you how you got involved in all this first of all your last name is lem cooler and, uh, it's sandy lem cooler okay. i'm the ceo and founder of warrior foundation freedom station and this is the 12th year that this group has been able to help our foundation so we have the ill and injured warriors and Yes, we still have ill and injured warriors that do. are being processed out of the military. We have a transitional housing with a program that's 18 months old, very 18 months long, and it's very structured, and it makes a successful transition for our warriors. Why wait till they're out of the military to help them transition? We have make it happen now. But anyway, it is so exciting when the riders ride up to Mount Soledad. We see them coming up that hill to Mount Soledad, and they have an incredible event up there for us. Mount Soledad is beautiful, great, great place to be looking out over the ocean, the land of the free, and knowing that we're all doing something for the betterment of our warriors. How is the money spent? We have 90% of every dollar goes directly to our warriors. It helps with the injured. It helps bring in family members. This year, we're going to be sending our warriors home. They don't know this yet. They're going to wake up in their own bed, in their own state, with their own family Christmas morning, and we're going to do a lot of things. But all year long, we are able to provide them wraparound care. We work directly with the commands. And Neil, your role in all this is Neil O'Connell. Thank you, Paul. Our role is nothing more than hosting these these wonderful people. Sandy's you provide program. The venue. We provide the venue at Mount Soldat, the most beautiful memorial in the United States of America, sitting atop Mount Soldat in La Jolla looking over the Pacific Ocean. These ladies and gentlemen get up about 5 a.m., they saddle on their bikes, they partner coming down the I-5 with all these other groups, they arrive at our memorial for a wonderful benefit. And what Sandy's done over the years, I can tell you, as a United States Marine, retired, had served in Iraq and Afghanistan, I intimately know the work that she has done within our community. She is a saint. Can you speak to the images she was sharing with us with the bikes come rolling up? Well, How it, breathtaking is that? It absolutely is awesome. You know, it's not uncommon to have bicycle riders come up, uh, all the bicycle clubs, the motorcycle clubs, the car clubs, the running clubs. Mount Soldad's a destination. It's a beautiful place. Not only does it have a beautiful cross, but it has 14 right. walls honoring veterans. But it's amazing uh, to see this absolutely. one come up with all the American flags, all the veterans. It is just pride, passion, and patriotism. Come join us. It's a great ride. You'll love it. All right. We've talked about it. We've seen it. Now we're going to hear it. If you guys could all just right. part the seats. Thank you, Paul. I'm the when I was a kid, I used to watch Bugs Bunny all the time. And my favorite episode is when he conducted the orchestra. I have an orchestra of hogs here. All right. First of all, your name is? My name is Bill. Your name is? Mark Pappas. Your name is? Michelle. <laughs> well, you look much better than he does. 
Michelle. Hey, Michelle. You are? Hi, right, Bob Torres. OK, you guys ready? You are? Uh, Tony, man. And you are Bob. We know Bob. All right, here we go. Back to you, Lord. 